We'll discuss that and more as Dorothy Cassisari. Pay attention to every word Dorothy says. Hey, I'm Wayne Brady, and I'm here with the beautiful Dorothy Cassisari here on Celebrity Court. Hi, I'm Dorothy Cassisari, and welcome to Celebrity Corner. Tonight, we have a special show for you highlighting the biggest night in Hollywood, the Super Bowl of the celebrity world, the 86th Annual Academy Awards. Who watched the Oscars on Sunday night? From the losers to the winners to the parties to the gossip, and my favorite part, the fashion, it is the most exciting night of the year. Well, at least my year, I'd say. And it was such a great show, in my opinion. I thought Ellen did a fabulous job as a host. What'd you guys think, Ellen? Yeah, she really kept it going. I mean, she made the celebrities, the A-listers, so relatable. Watching celebrities eat pizza in gowns, I just absolutely loved it. And the, the selfie, which we'll get to later in the show, the Ellen DeGeneres famous selfie that broke Twitter. I mean, it was just a great show, in my opinion. But let's talk about the most important part of the night, the gowns. And tonight, I have an incredible panel. Joining me first, New York-based fashion designer, Dana Max. Her looks have been worn by everyone from Margot Robbie of Wolf of Wall Street to Tyra Banks. Welcome, Dana Max. Hi, thank you. And a personal you. friend of mine also. Thank you. We also have season 11 Projects Runway contestant fashion designer Liana Aguilar. Welcome to the show from Project Runway. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. And last but not least, it would only be fair to have a man weigh in. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> joining me tonight is radio host on Wired 96.5, DJ Bonix, who is also rapper Wiz Khalifa's DJ. Hello, welcome. Thank you so much. Well, what a great panel we have, and I am dying to hear what you thought of the Oscar looks. So we kind of broke it down into a few different trends. Um, I want to start first with this, this gold kind of rosy thing that we saw going on. Kate Blanchett, Academy Award winning actress, Kate Blanchett, who won for Blue Jasmine. Uh, she was absolutely gorgeous in Armani Privé. And we had Angelina Jolie in a similar, similar kind of look, which was Ellie Saab. Uh, let's start with Dana Max. What's, what are your take on these choices for these women? I loved Kate just because I think the detail work on the dress was magnificent and Angelina looked gorgeous but I I don't know I think it was a little conservative and it's very Angelina whereas Kate she's like such a fashion trendsetter I loved it and I think it's beautiful I, I agree with you and also the thing about Angelina that's so fabulous is you know she recently had a double mastectomy uh, after being you know or she it was her mother who died of yeah. cancer and she wanted to be proactive and then she had reconstructive surgery and I thought that dress was a great choice for her because she just looked absolutely fabulous it's a hard thing I think to kind of come out after something like that uh, what do you guys think um, I think for Kate Blanchett I really I cannot expect anything less. She's always amazing, one of the favorites in the red carpet. I love the dress. It's so beautiful, whimsical. The embroidery is something that always catches your eyes. And I love when someone that a little more fair skin wears something light. It's kind of like blends with your skin and it, the illusion of the nude underneath and you just see like the little roses. It doesn't wash them out. You don't, yeah. you don't think it washes uh, them I out? Don't think, I think it depends also the the details sometimes it can but in her case you your focus goes to that beautiful embroidery and I think it really stands out. Okay, I like that. Okay, um, DJ Bonix, we're going to start with you for the second uh, trend of the night, which okay. we saw this beautiful blues. I mean, the blues were so gorgeous. Lupita Nyong'o in a, a light blue, powder blue Prada. Sandra Bullock and Alexander McQueen and Amy Adams and Gucci. I really uh, liked uh, Lupita's dress. I actually, I, w I was thinking about how there was a lot of small chested cleavage going on and I, I really small like chested yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleavage. I like that. Which I, I like because like it's not just too. pouring out everywhere and I think she pulled it off real nice. I like that a lot. Now I, I have to say, you know, you don't have to be big busted to wear that kind of deep plunge. But in a way I don't I I don't want to sound mean here, but I just think that maybe her chest kind of reminds me of like a like a 10 year old boy. And I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just saying with a little bit of of, of a shallower plunge, I think I would have liked the dress more. What do you ladies think? Yeah, I think um, I think it's like her princess moment, and she was like really the star of the night, and she should be doing her thing. We've never really seen her in these like princess gowns. She has been killing it on the runway. Oh, she, oh my gosh. She has completely stole the show yes. as, term, as, as far as fashion is concerned for the award season. Yes. But I, I did think it was a little bit too low. I've seen better on her, so she wasn't my favorite of the night. And she's a beautiful woman, yeah. I mean, and she has the figure, so yeah. anyway. Okay, let's move on to black, okay? Black, usually for me, two Bs, black and boring. That's usually how I interpret black. I'm sorry, I just do. However, Charlize Theron in Dior, 
completely changed my mind on black. Uh, Liana, what do you what do you think? About I that agree. Dress? I love that was my favorite black dress on the red carpet. I also agree. If you're going to the red carpet, why would you wear black? But she pulled it off, and I am so in love with the, the sheer details because that creates again the illusion of the dress is just like how how is it there it's so right. intricate the sheer I love straps yeah because from from far away it looked like you know something was happening a part of the dress was missing then close up you saw it was sheer yes. is this going to be a trend that we're seeing now i i believe so i hope so right? i hope so i love it <laughs> <laughs> definitely using for my collection now what about uh what about julia roberts though and Givenchy? Uh, i i want to get dj bonnick's take on this i want the man's uh well for the the black dress and I'm wearing black, so yeah. Um, but, uh, <laughs> uh, there it is again, the uh, not hanging out cleavage for uh, Charlize, which I really like. And, you know, I grew up uh, uh, watching her. Uh, and so it, it's, it's a timeless classic look. It's not as sexy, I don't think. But, I mean, you know, I'm a man, so. Yeah, I thought her dress kind of reminded me of a like a tablecloth or something, but either way. Um, and then let's talk about the men at the Academy Awards, because I do not remember the men ever standing out as much as they did for this Academy Awards. I mean, the men brought it. So this photo you'll recognize is Ryan Seacrest, the host of E! News. Uh, the other gentleman you may not recognize, but it's my father from my wedding in October. And he set the trend because we had Jared Leto in a, a white uh, tux jacket. We had Matthew McConaughey in a white tux jacket. Uh, what are your thoughts about this? This, this white tux trend. I, I want to hear from you, DJ Bob. Uh, you know, I, I don't. Think, I think in, in, in my senior prom in high school, I did like a half white, half black. Uh, but I noticed a lot of people uh, at the Oscars are wearing just kind of like the classic black tux. But it's it's cool seeing that. I we mean, I, yeah, your dad looks great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, viewers at home know my dad because we've shown my my wedding video and my dad's speech kind of tells the story. So he's a celebrity in his, in his own right within the celebrity <laughs> corner family. Um, and and Dana Max, what do you think about the the white? Uh, tuxedo jacket on I that. love it and it's just it's such an ode to like old Hollywood glamour and Jared Leto oh my god like Lupita is just he's killing it he's so cool he has this look about him that no one else is pulling off right now I love him and he has the most beautiful hair I mean yeah. his hair was more beautiful yeah. than many of the women <laughs> that night in yeah. my opinion do you agree he has yes. that ombre feeling going right? on but I was just said okay when I go to the hair salon I'm gonna bring his picture I want his <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much to my Oscars panel, Dana Max, Zachary Sire, Liana Aguilar from Project Runway, and DJ Bonnick. Thank you for joining me tonight. Stay tuned because up next, we're looking at some of the best Oscars makeup and learning a trick or two from a celebrity makeup artist. Stay right there.